Megan Phelps Roper. I recently, yesterday in fact, sent out a tweet to Megan Phelps Roper advertising my fairly recent book, The Seduction of Anita Sarkeesian. And how did Megan respond? She blocked me. Well, I blocked her back and then I blocked her on my personal account before she can block that account if she managed to do that. Megan, I'm sure you want people to forgive you for your days in Westboro. Well, blocking someone for advertising a book is not a very forgiving thing to do. Certainly, even if what people are saying is true that I'm being mean by writing these books about Anita Sarkeesian, I would not be one one thousandth as mean as you were when you picketed those funerals. I don't consider myself a nice person. I don't. I don't care. Say I'm mean. I don't think I'm am nice. So it doesn't really bother me. But Megan, you want people to forgive you, right? Your Bible, not my Bible, your Bible says, forgiving ye shall be forgiven. Blocking someone for advertising a book about one of your friends is not a very forgiving action. Other members of your church have been kinder to me, but you act like a stuck up snob. I have had conversations or at least tweets with some of your other members or former members. For example, JL has been kinder to me. In fact, in one case, I take the blame. I wasn't as understanding as I could be with JL, but she still forgave me. So, Megan, why do you have to be so stuck up? Interestingly, I first found out about your relationship with Anita when Anita tweeted that she was at some talk talking about harassment and you were one of the speakers. Oh, like you have the place to talk to other people about harassment. Isn't that like the pot calling the kettle black? Oh, Megan. Uh oh, Megan. For blocking me, I say this. You want people to forgive you? Well, maybe show some forgiveness towards other people that may not be perfect. In an ideal world, I wouldn't have to write books like this. And what's the big deal? It's satire. It's not like I'm the first person in the history of the world who has ever satirized someone. People say mean stuff about me. I don't act the same way necessarily as Anita is doing, your friend. So, Megan, 